From Midland, Odessa and Big Spring, this is ABC Big 2 News at 10. Now at 10, we start with police activity in Hobbs tonight. Police said officers went to the Covenant Hobbs Hospital after a report of a man with a gun. Officers found the suspect in a vehicle leaving the scene and he was taken into custody for numerous criminal offenses. It's not clear what those offenses are yet, but no shots were fired and police said thankfully no one was hurt. Now there is no threat to anyone in this hospital at this time. The investigation remains ongoing. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Rob Took. We turn now to the frantic search for a school teacher kidnapped while on a jog. Authorities in Memphis, Tennessee continue to search for Eliza Fletcher. The mother of two is also the heiress to a billion dollar fortune for the hardware company Orgill. Her family is desperate for any leads. Police have arrested a suspect in the case, but still there is no sign of Fletcher. Here's ABC's Mullah Lenghi with the latest update. Memphis police announcing they have made an arrest in the case of missing Memphis school teacher Eliza Fletcher. Earlier today for Ms. Liz Fletcher. 38 year old Cleotha Abston has been charged with especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. The 34 year old kindergarten teacher was reported missing by her husband hours after she did not return from an early morning jog Friday. It's now been a number of hours since they detained an individual that was in the car allegedly used in this abduction. I have real concerns about her well being because it's just been too long. Abston's arrest coming a day after investigators revealed they had located a vehicle of interest in Fletcher's abduction. Police say a person in a black GMC Terrain SUV approached her around 4.30 a.m. while she was jogging near the University of Memphis and forced her into the passenger side of the vehicle. Authorities saying they found her water bottle and cell phone near where she was reportedly abducted. ABC affiliate WATN confirming the married mother of two is the granddaughter of a prominent businessman and philanthropist. Her family pleading for the public's help. More than anything, we want to see Liza returned home safely. The family has offered a reward for any information that leads to her safe return. Saturday evening, her church held a vigil. We're deeply pained and sorrowed by what's going on, and we're praying for her safe return. Police say they have arrested a second person, an apparent relative of Abstin, who is now facing gun and drug charges. But authorities do not believe he is connected to Fletcher's abduction. Mola Lange, ABC News, Memphis. Now, the suspect in this case, Cleotha Abston, was arrested and convicted in 2000 for a similar crime. Police say Abston kidnapped a Memphis attorney and forced him into the trunk of his car. That man survived. Abston was convicted for that kidnapping and was released from prison in 2020 after serving a 20-year sentence. And developing tonight now to an international headline, the developing manhunt out of Canada for two men. They are accused of stabbing people. Ten people are dead, 15 are wounded. Police say some of the victims were attacked at random. The stabbings took place in multiple locations. There are a total of 13 crime scenes. Police said they last had information that the suspects were sighted in Saskatchewan's capital of Regina around lunchtime. There have been no sightings since. And another murder investigation is developing tonight. A veteran newspaper reporter in Las Vegas was found dead outside of his home. Police say he was stabbed to death. 69-year-old Jeff German was employed by the Las Vegas Review Journal as an investigative reporter. At the time of his death, police are looking for a suspect. And Bed Bath & Beyond's chief financial officer is dead after a fall from his New York apartment. Police say Gustavo Arnold fell 18 stories to his death on Friday. The 52-year-old joined the company two years ago. Medical examiners will determine the cause of his death. Now the news comes just after Bed Bath & Beyond said last week it would close 150 stores, cut jobs, overhaul its merchandising, merchandising strategy rather, in an attempt to turn around its money losing business. Now the big box chain, once considered a so-called category killer in home and bath goods, has seen its fortunes falter after an attempt to sell more of its own brand or private label goods. Arnell has sold 55,000 shares in the company just last month. And much closer to home, we're taking a live look at I-20 in Odessa. Tonight, there's a $5,000 reward after a backhoe was stolen from Odessa. Now, it's a Yellow Cat 416F backhoe with a driver pipeline weld on it. 
This backhoe was stolen from the 4600 block of North Jackson on Saturday, July 30th. At some point, police say it was driven out to West Odessa. Surveillance video caught the suspect as he was stealing it. The owners of this backhoe are offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and the backhoe. This reward, this reward offer is good through the end of the month. Now, if you are interested in a reward, you must contact Crime Stoppers and not law enforcement directly. And now, your forecast first on ABC Big 2 News. Happy Sunday, friends. The long weekend has arrived. We're looking forward to it. And it's been a great start so far because we didn't see any rain whatsoever in our area. But the one thing we did see was some really great temperatures. Everyone pretty much sat in their upper 80s, 88 degrees in Milan, Odessa, and, you know, their lower 90s, 91 degrees in Big Spring. So pretty much some hot temperatures to kick off that three-day weekend. Now today, a hot day sitting at 87, our average 91. But not as hot as how it were back in 2020 when we sat in our triple digits at 101 degrees. Taking our lows, we did come in, you know, short for that just by a couple degrees, sitting at 65. I'll have more of this forecast later on the show. Back over to you, Rob. Thank you, Bridget. Now next tonight, the Labor Day travel rebound. Millions are on the move, with tomorrow being one of the busiest days of the long weekend. Here's ABC's Phil Lipoff. Tonight, as the unofficial end of summer winds down, the roads and airports continue to see Americans traveling in numbers not seen in three years. This is the busiest I've seen it, so and I travel frequently. Despite the average cost of a flight being up over 20% since last Labor Day, more than 12 million expected to fly over the holiday. TSA screening more than 2.3 million passengers on Thursday alone, more than any Labor Day weekend since 2019. Some traveling for the first time since the pandemic hit. This is the first time I flew since 2019. It was an easy process. Monday is expected to be one of the busiest days of the extended weekend. If you're driving, travel experts recommend you get on the road at non-peak hours, early or late in the day. Not only does that cut down on your time in your car, it also cuts down on the gas that you'll use to get there. And that gas will cost you a bit less. According to Gas Buddy, the national average per gallon now at $3.76, the lowest level since March. And that was Phil Lipoff reporting. Experts say with the rise in travelers, expect some delays. Now turning our attention to the first responders and law enforcement officers in our community. Tonight we're taking a moment to recognize a hometown hero. Meet Detective Yoli Madrano of the Odessa Police Department. Detective Madrano works for natural crimes. It's part of the property division. That includes investigations on forgery, credit card abuse, and identity theft. Bottom line, Detective Madrano is getting justice for the victim. She said she loves her line, and line of work and she's done it for 23 years. We spoke with Detective Madrano about working here in the basin and we also had a small gift for her. What's it like working for the Odessa Police Department? I love it. Uh, I, I can't say enough about the department. They've been wonderful. I love it here. I enjoy this community. I've been here for Odessa for a long time. so. <laughs> So I just love it here. <laughs> carpet Tech wants to honor you with a full house floor care cleaning, whether you have carpet, tile, whatever wood you may have. If we can get it cleaned up for you, you just give us a call and we'll get it all taken care of. I know we're putting you on the spot right now, but uh, we were all just so excited for you to come along. <laughs> and each month, ABC Big Two and Carpet Tech team up to gift a free house floor cleaning to a local first responder. You can find more of these stories on yourbasin.com under the category Hometown Hero. You can really swing it. That's going to be shot down the right field line, down into the corner, will take a bounce and get out of the ballpark. So that'll be a double. And heading into this game, the Rangers were on a seven-game losing streak. Did they break it today? We go to Fenway Park with highlights on deck. And this three-day weekend isn't just for getting away. Bargain hunters are preparing for sales and savings tomorrow. From appliances to tech to clothing and furniture, we have you covered on Big Markdowns up next. And the three-day weekend has been warm with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Stay with me, I'll take a look at this warm trend. One choice away from changing your life.
or one step closer to a world of new possibilities. At Midland College, we believe in your opportunity to chase your ambitions. That's why we offer the lowest tuition in the region and award up to $1 million in scholarships each year. Start the life you've dreamed of and let Midland College help you take the first step. Apply with one easy application at midland.edu. Aleve X. Its revolutionary rollerball design delivers fast, powerful, long-lasting pain relief. Aleve it and see what's possible. My dad died when I was in high school. I had to wait tables at a place just like this to be able to pay for school. It took hard work, but Texas gave me the opportunity to succeed. That's why as governor, I focus on creating jobs for all Texans by investing in education expanding our energy industry, and by keeping taxes low for our families. We are securing the future of Texas so that everyone has the same opportunities that Texas gave me. Trust Reviews is an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations to give reliable recommendations on just about everything. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. As our kids live alongside COVID, remember, they're safer when they're vaccinated against the virus. It'll help prevent long-term symptoms like weeks of exhaustion. It'll reduce the spread in schools and to your home. And it's been proven safe with millions of children already vaccinated. Talk to a medical provider today about keeping your kids up to date on their COVID vaccinations so they can play safe. Visit vaccinenm.org slash kids to get started. Midland College presents The Greatest Piano Men, a free high-energy rock and roll celebration of the greatest piano icons in music. 7.30 p.m., Saturday, September 17th, Al G. Langford Chaparral Center. Visit midland.edu forward slash piano men for more info. When safe drivers save for not answering their phone while driving, they feel like a big deal. Did you get the ice? Even if they forgot the ice. Huh. Save up to 30% on auto insurance with USAA Safe Pilot. Get a quote today. Now your local weather authority forecast. Happy Sunday, friends. Today was a nice day in the area. We're going to continue on with our weekend. It's not going anywhere because of Labor Day for tomorrow. Take a look at what we are seeing right now. We are seeing some pretty clear conditions. A bit of some clouds in the sky, but definitely not bad. We are seeing some clear driving conditions. Now, the one thing you can't feel in this moment is the heat. And today was a hot one. It was a nice one for all the activities we had for today. We came in at a high of 88 degrees, usually around this time in August. August. We're definitely used to 91 degree temperatures. So you know what? Just a couple degrees short of our average. But back in 2000, we sat in our triple digits at 101 degrees. Taking a look at our lows, we did come in a little bit short of that, seeing at 65 hours our total when our average is 68 degrees. So you know what? We're going to take the best that we can. Currently in this moment, as the sun has gone down, as 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 how our as, <laughs> I'm excited. As are our temperatures. As has our temperatures. English, what is it? I'm telling you the weather, right? 77 degrees. Basically, you know what? The sun has gone down. Take a look at our humidity. We are sitting at 44 degrees, a dew point 60. Our wind traveling south, southeast, three miles per hour. So really calm wind traveling. Now, the one thing that we are smiling about, we love the rain, but you know what? We got a break from the rain, which was exciting so we could focus on some really great temperatures. Now, as we make our way into Labor Day, a high of 16 degrees as we're waking up. A little bit some clouds. What we're seeing tonight is what we're going to see tomorrow morning. Winds will be front and center, though, traveling south, southeast 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now, taking a look at our hour by hour, you know, some clear conditions right now. Just a couple of clouds in the Alpine area. We're not going to see any clouds until we get into the afternoon time around 5 p.m. Not only that, are we going to see some rain, too, just a little bit some rain drizzle in the Midland Odessa area. And then for the most part, as we make our way into Tuesday morning, that cloud cover is going to leave us alone just a little bit. 
and the sun is going to come out and say hello. So super exciting. Now tomorrow is going to be great for grilling. Here's what we got for 11 a.m. We will be sitting at 80 degrees, thin clouds. Then by 2 p.m. we increase by 7 degrees to 87. It's going to be sunny as you saw. 5 p.m. 90 degrees, very warm, perfect enough for grilling. A couple heat tips. Drink plenty of water, wear your sunscreen and take frequent breaks in the shade because you're going to need it. It is going to be hot. Our LAG report shows that dust and mold at a moderate level are grass and our trees sitting pretty close to none and our weeds sitting low. That seven day forecast is going to show some really great temperatures sitting at 89 on Monday and then Labor Day, which is, which is Labor Day. And then on Tuesday, a little bit of some PM showers, but for the most part, not too bad whatsoever. Rob, we're going to enjoy Labor Day. We're going to have fun. I'm going to grill a little bit. It's going to be great. No complaints at all. It's a good time. Thanks a lot, Bridget. Well, it has been a great weekend at the Permian Basin Fair and Expo in Odessa. Today, there was a competition. Contestants ages 4 to 16 competed for the title of Little Miss and Junior Miss Permian Basin Fair and Exposition. Our Bridget Sarpong was there, too, emceeing this event. The whole event was put on by the Permian Basin Fair President Susie Wyatt. Now, a big congratulations to the pageant winners, Little Miss Sadie Hudson, Little Miss Juliet Benavides, and Miss Junior Permian Basin Fair and Exposition, Gianna Holscher. Congrats on the crown. Now, if you hit the road this holiday weekend, your wallet is getting a break. Gas prices are still on a downward trend as global oil prices continue to fall. The average price nationally is now at its lowest level since March at $3.81 per gallon. That's down from an average of $4.20 a month ago. And this Labor Day, sales are enticing people to shop. And stores say they are looking to clear out their inventory. ABC's Deirdre Bolton's been scouting out the best deals. Shoppers can really expect a pretty robust set of Labor Day deals this year. Well, you will find the traditional Labor Day deals on items like patio furniture and mattresses. This year is different and will have more variety for one big reason. People are changing their shopping ha habits due to inflation. Uh, it's forcing people to get smarter. Retailers responding with some going back to basics to get shoppers in the door like Target. It's offering things like meat. They're offering um, buy one, get one at a discount offers on grilling meats. It is offering $10 Target gift cards when shoppers buy essentials like pantry items and cleaning products, understanding that consumers want deals on basics. Kristen also points out Bed Bath & Beyond is offering a warehouse clear-out event with discounts of up to 80% off, like bath towels for less than $4 and a stainless steel cookware set for less than $50. And get the most from retailer overstocks of casual clothing, like Gap, offering flip-flops for $5 and tank tops for 9 One thing that's actually surprised me, this Labor Day, um, we're seeing retailers offer a lot more electronic deals. Deals like a $50 gift card from Target for certain Fitbit models, Best Buy slashing $700 off a massive 65-inch TV, and an even rare MacBook sale with some models of up to $400 off. And now, your ABC Big Two Sports. Now for a look at sports, joining us now is ABC Big Two's Avi Cargloth. Avi, need a new TV? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think I'll be good for football season. And this is the last Sunday for a while without the NFL, so we turn to baseball. The Rangers and Red Sox wrapped up their series today in Boston. Red Sox were looking to complete a sweep of the Rangers. We go to the top of the first. Nobody uh, has scored yet at this point in the game. Two on for the Rangers. Adolis Garcia is going to rip one the other way. It goes over the wall for the ground rule. Double the opposite of the green monster there. Marcus Semien scores, and the Rangers lead 1-0. Bottom of the first. Red Sox down two with two on. Xander Bogarts hits one the other way off Dane Dunning. Hey, that's another ground rule double there. Tommy Pham scores. That halves the lead to 2-1. Next batter, two on for the Sox, Trevor Story. Nice bat flip there, crushes it well over the green monster for the three-run homer. 
home run number 16 on the season, and the Sox lead 4-2. Second inning, same score, runners with the corners. That's Bogarts again. He hits one in the hole for the single. Connor Wong scores. Bogarts went three for four at the plate. Red Sox lead 5-2, and in the sixth inning, same score. Jonah Heim lines one in the hole, but Story makes a tremendous catch. Great jump by Story to Rob Heim of a base hit. Story with a great defensive play, and the Red Sox with a great result. They win 5-2. to And the Red Sox now have a five-game winning streak as they're trying to come climb back into the AL's wildcard chase. Meanwhile, the Rangers, they've lost eight straight. All right, the Astros and the Angels, second inning, no score. One on Kyle Tucker. That ball is out of here. His 23rd homer of the season just connects on the inside pitch, and just like that, the Astros lead 2-0. Later in that same inning with two on, David Hensley with the hit off of Tucker Davidson. Two more runs would come in, and the Astros would go up 4 to nothing. Still second inning. Astros up 4 nothing. Jose Altuve, if we're showing him, that means he's doing something right. Gets a double off of Davidson. David Henley scores. Astros 5, Angels nothing. Seventh inning. There's Altuve again. A blast. And it's gone just over the wall and left. A two-run shot. His 23rd homer of the season gives the Astros a 7 nothing lead. Got to show a little bit of love to a future Hall of Famer right here. Mike Trout got all of this one on a 7-0 deficit to make it 7-1. That's his 29th homer of the season. But we get to the ninth, and the Astros are up 7-1 with the bases loaded. Jordan Alvarez gets the single to drive in two, and the Astros win 9-1. Now the Midland Rockhounds, they wrapped up their series against the Arkansas Travelers today. Midland squeaks by with a 3-2 win. The Hounds able to take two of the last three games in the series after dropping the first three by a combined score of 46-16. Ouch. The Hounds are now two games back in the second half standings. They need to finish first to make the playoffs. The Rockhounds have two more series left. They hit the road to face Corpus Christi on Tuesday before returning home for their last series of the season against Wichita. All right, that's going to do it for me in sports. Rob, back over to you. Thanks a lot, Avi. Yes, I got him. And he's not going to get away again. A mother finds her daughter's accused killer after six years of searching her pursuit of justice and the murder trial that just begun. At Priority ER Care, our luxurious setting is run by dual board certified emergency and family medicine physicians. We treat our patients like family. At Priority ER Care, we've seen it all, we do it fast. The Permian Basin Fair and Expo is celebrating the red, white, and blue in 2022. This September 2nd through the 11th at the Ector County Coliseum in Odessa. Come out and enjoy great tasting food and family fun as we continue to show our resilience and being Permian Basin strong. This year, the fair's carnival rides are provided by Rights Amusement. Come celebrate the red, white, and blue in 2022 at the Permian Basin Fair. Permian Basin Fair, I'll be there. We've all heard that as soon as you drive a new car off the lot, it depreciates by $5,000. Well, right now, if you own a current or one-year-old Honda or Kia, Kelly Grimsley Auto Group will give you your money back. We'll buy it back so you can upgrade into a newer model without losing a dime. What you may know about Midland, Texas, is maybe that we are the home to two past presidents of the United States. Or maybe you heard about a precious baby in a well or that we are the oil capital of the United States. But what you may not know is Midland is a rich and diverse community. This is Midland, our city, our stories. Cooking is my greatest joy. I kind of lose myself when I cook. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I came close to losing my life. I went through two rounds of chemo. Because of the hardship that I went through with finances, this house was on the auction block. Texas Veterans Commission assisted me with financial assistance to keep my home. I'm just so grateful to have this, this service. Get ready for your day with meteorologist Ryan DePhillips. New at 10 tonight, a former Marine is behind bars. Raymond McLeod was arrested on murder charges. He was up until recently. 
one of the most wanted fugitives in the U.S. And it was the victim's mother who helped police find the man in Guatemala after a six-year search. ABC's M. Nguyen shows us how he was finally captured. An ex-Marine charged with the murder of his girlfriend six years ago behind bars without bail following an international manhunt. His face blurred by order of the judge. Raymond McLeod in court Friday pleading not guilty to killing Crystal Mitchell. The victim's mother, Josephine Wenzel, was there. The number one thing for this conference is, yes, I got him. And he's not going to get away again. Authorities Never crediting Wenzel, a former jail, detective, right? for playing an instrumental role in finding the man accused of killing her daughter. I put in six hard years at the sacrifice of my own family. I would wake up three o'clock in the morning and I would go through computer searches, make phone calls. I'd call marshals in the middle of the night, midnight, whatever. Wenzel's daughter, a mother of two, had been dating McLeod for just a few weeks in 2016 when they decided to take a weekend trip to San Diego. That's where prosecutors say Mitchell was found, strangled in a friend's home. The victim's mother used to be a detective, so it may become natural for her to figure out, okay, what are this guy's habits? Where does he like to frequent? McLeod was reportedly spotted in Guatemala and Mexico in 2017 before a critical tip pointed U.S. Marshals to El Salvador, where McLeod was apparently working as an English teacher. He was captured last Monday. McLeod was one of the 15 most wanted fugitives in the country, according to the Marshals Services list. I hope to God that the court system does not fail my daughter, and I'm there to make sure they don't. And that was M. Nguyen reporting McLeod's public defender declined to comment on the case after the public hearing. If convicted on the murder charge, the defendant faces 25 years to life in prison. His next court date is in December. People have this miscalibrated sense of knowledge. New research tonight from a Texas college is putting some social media users on blast. More details on the study when we come back. Every Friday on Basin Gridiron, Carpet Tech and ABC Big 2 is bringing you Game of the Week. We're coming to a game near you Fridays on Basin Gridiron, sponsored by Carpet Tech. It's the Bob Mills Labor Day free for all, and this weekend only. You'll get 29% off all mattresses and sleep spa, any size, any style, any price. Like this Somniva Queen mattress, made to reduce back pain and keep you cool. Normally $17.98, 29% off just $12.77. Don't miss it. This weekend only, 29% off all mattresses. Bob Mills Sleep Spa. Ah. Oh. It's time to amp up the fun at your local Ford dealer during the final days of the Summer Supercharged Sales Event. You still have time to lock in your order on select Ford vehicles and we'll lock in your rate. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. So stop by your Ford dealer today during the final days of the Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Order a new Ford F-150 and lock in 2.9 financing plus 500 bonus cash only at your best in Texas Ford dealer. It's the OG Jeopardy with celebrities. America's favorite quiz show is looking to the stars. Let's hope they've been reading more than screenplays. Mayim Bialikos, Celebrity Jeopardy. Series premieres September 25th on ABC and stream on Hulu. Aleve X. Its revolutionary rollerball design delivers fast, powerful, long-lasting pain relief. Believe it and see what's possible. Wonderful adventures are coming, it's true. And a bright future awaits only you. Raise your hand if you want to be a teacher. Sharing an article on social media doesn't make you an expert on a topic. But new research from the University of Texas says a lot of people think they are experts when they share things on social media. ABC's Jayla Washington explains. We live in the age of sharing news online. In fact, it's how most people consume it these days. Okay, so when you're sharing a post on social media, are you thinking that you know everything about a topic? <laughs> it depends, I guess, on the subject. Um, I will admit sometimes I do kind of 
I guess act like I know it all. Some are brave enough to admit they might be sharing without fully reading an article. Though when they repost for their friends and followers, they are confident in what they're putting out there. People have this miscalibrated sense of knowledge. That also means that they're less likely to go and actually read additional information to correct that. So it's very hard to alter that false perception of knowledge or correct some fake news or false perceptions. According to UT Austin research data, just over half of consumers who read a story online read the entire story and only 26% partly read it, while 22% simply looked at the headline. So we highly endorse some pilot programs that both Facebook and Twitter uh, have enacted where if you go to share an article and they can tell that you haven't actually clicked on it to read it, they'll prompt you to say you might consider actually reading this before you share it. So what's your advice, I guess, to other people? Read, read everything, read every word. Oh, the more you know. Coming up after the break, Bridget will have one last look at the forecast. Stay with us. I'm Chris Cuomo. Welcome to News Nation. One Nation. News Nation. Mazda of Midland invites you to come by and test drive the remarkable Mazda CX-5. Shop Mazda of Midland today for the best selection. Your damaged vehicle may not know about the COVID-19 outbreak, but at Classic Auto Paint and Body in Midland, we do. We follow all CDC guidelines, disinfecting the common touch points of your vehicle before we work on it, and again, before we give it back to you. Don't let COVID-19 stop your vehicle from looking its best. Call Classics Auto Paint and Body, home of the limited contact repair process. Stop by today for your free estimate at 400 South Baker Street in Midland. Optimum is here with award-winning internet to help you get closer and go farther, faster. Get speeds up to one gig with 99.9% .9 reliability. And Smart Wi-Fi 6 for whole home coverage. Built-in security and no data caps to keep you moving. Get Optimum's award-winning internet for as low as $30 a month. Now at Optimum.com. Let's take one look at that seven-day forecast. Tomorrow is Labor Day, and we're going to have some really nice temperatures, a couple of clouds, and a little bit of 10 percent of rain around 5 p.m. But the highest is going to be is 91 degrees. Perfect for grilling, being by the pool. While you are outdoors doing that, do be sure that you take necessary precautions because our allergy forecast did show that you know our trees and our pollen and our dust will be in the area. However, also make sure you hydrate because it is going to be hot and it is going to be very warm. And the rest of the week is going to be pretty warm and then we cool on down Saturday and Sunday not too bad whatsoever enjoy your Labor Day thank you Bridget and film fans in Poland like to create a buzz about movies and they're generating it with a makeshift generator and their feet get this about a dozen Polish people made it a nice romantic night out for others while they were busy pedaling and they were all watching a movie called Knives Out they use some pedal power on stationary bikes to help people to, excuse me, to help power about 50% of the energy required to show the film. Folks are staging creative events like this to help rethink energy use in practical situation. Guys, what do you think? I would do it. Oh yeah. I, I would do it all the way. I like biking. I like movies. Right. That's simple addition for me. I don't know about you, you guys, but I mean, 
<laughs> I'd, I'd be willing to bike to see Knives Out. I enjoyed Knives Out. That was a good movie. I would like to be the person sitting in the lawn chair enjoying the movie while these folks are, you know, the <laughs> energy. <laughs> good for them. So, I, so Bridget and I will be on the bikes and you'll watch the movie. Yeah. what you're saying. Well, absolutely. I'm cool with that. As long as we're next to each other, Avi, I could definitely do that. Oh, yeah. It's like a whole, you can carry a whole conversation, basically, exactly. like that. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yes. How are you supposed to be eating and drinking and enjoying the movie if you're just sweating away, it's focusing? A, it's a good schwitz. You just gotta keep pedaling to the metal. There you go. That's yeah. not bad. We'll love to see it happen here. Let's get that going, there. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for news. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back here next weekend. The Good Morning Basin starts at 5 in the morning. See you then.